This video clip is a part of a teaching message done by Pastor Carl Silva in the year 2011. For so the body is not one member but many. And in this body, we have dependency on each other. And with also functions. If the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I thought of something unique to show you. If the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I am not a part of the body, it is not for this reason any less a part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I'm not part of the body, it is not for this reason any less a part of the body. Now imagine that. Imagine the whole body was one big eye. That's you. That's you. And uh, your hand is an eye. Your legs are another eye. You know. It would be kind of crazy. How would you bathe yourself? Right? And what would you bathe in? You would not have to bathe in regular water. You would bathe in eye drops. <laughs> yes. Because how can everybody be an eye? And God has different places in the body. We have people on the board who are very good with finance and they contribute. There is teachers in our school. And they, they do what they do best teaching. There is there is those who are principals of the schools and they run the school. There is a superintendent looking after kids. And it's all about reaching out and there's different functions in the body. And God may call you to preach, but that doesn't make you different from anyone else. God may call you to sing, but where are you? You're hid in the body. Do you understand? And so I like that. So we're not all eyes and feet. And we are different. And then he says, but now, verse 18, but now God has placed the members, each one of them, in the body, just as he desired. Don't you like that? God says, but I place every member. When the person gets saved, they said, this is your gifts, and this is your function in the body. Okay? And look at the person next to you, and, and just look at them, and just look at them. They are placed there by Jesus. Amen? Amen. I'm working on staff, you're placed there by Jesus. If you're working in Karuna, you're placed there by Jesus. And that's what he's talking about. That everyone is placed as the Lord in eternity thought about it. And doesn't that make you thankful for each other? Now you look at the person you don't like so much and you say, Man, you're placed there by Jesus. I should love you because you're placed there by Jesus. Okay. Husbands, don't look at your wives and say, You won't get dinner tonight. Okay. If they were all one member, where would the body be? But now there are many members with one body. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you. No independence, no, not self sufficient. Yeah. I have no need of you, or the head to the feet, I have no need of you. And on the contrary, it is much truer that the members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary. And those members of the body which we deem or we seem in the eyes of people less honorable on those, on those we should bestow more abundant honor. And our less presentable members become much more presentable. I like that. Do you think like that? And we should. If you see somebody in the church and they're poorer maybe, and they're less educated and they come but they love Jesus, do you go out of your way to talk to them? It's not they are less honorable. In the world, people think they are less honorable. They're weaker, maybe. Well, what should our response be? Is to bestow on them even more honor. What do we do with our finger? It's just a little finger. It's not the mouth. It's not the head. Or oh, little ears. What do we do? We put earrings on them. We make them more beautiful. We put a ring on it. And that's what Jesus is saying. I want you to treat people in the body with great love so that everybody feels appreciated and everybody feels valued and everybody feels the significance they have because of who they are in Christ. And we should do that in our homes too. Whereas our more present members have no need of it, but God has composed the body giving more honor to the member which lacked so there would be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, like Simon this week, I think there was 45 people praying for Simon. And I've never prayed so hard that an abscess would burst. <laughs> Just praying and praying that an abscess would burst, he would not have a surgery, and, and it did. Then all the members suffer with it. 
And if Ramakrishna's home is burnt in, in Nepal, let me think about it. Where, where is that missionary going to stay? First of all, his home is very simple. It's just a wood home with blanks. And the guy has three, three churches, pastors and travels and walks around. Where is he going to stay? Where we suffer with him? If one member's on it, and we all clap and we rejoice because that member is being honored. And that's basically how the body functions, okay?